today was a great day. We did outreach for John McCain. We spread the message. We spread the word. And I think it's time to get a drink. Lance, you know any place? Marty, I'm taking you to the beach, buddy. The beach. I love the beach. This we are Oscar Mike. Oscar Mike. Oscar Mike. Very nice. We are Oscar Mike, Lance. Lance, can you put the air up, please? Absolutely. Awesome what are all these documents? What's all these? A pretty lady like you with all these documents. Hey, what happened hey, to those? Hey. What happened to those fancy, those Lois Lane kind of <laughs> dirty secretary glasses you had on before? Go away, ask away. Release of any cleaning. Oh, what is all this stuff? Well, it's just Mother stuff. Jones, Daily Kos. You've done a lot of research on me. Because you probably came in here with a certain impression. Right. This is Marty Eisenstadt. But now you've seen the real Marty Eisenstadt. How has that impression changed? That's yes. what I, I'm kind of curious become about. Become more colorful. More colorful. Ask me a question. Come on. Lovely lady, ask me a question. What's your next move? My next move? Yeah. Is this a professional question or a personal question? <laughs> professional. I mean, I'm sometimes, you know, it's, it's one thing, I don't mind fronting and shilling for, uh, but sometimes, you know, there's a frustration. I mean, I feel like my skill set maybe is at least as good sometimes as the skill set of people that I'm, I'm, I'm promoting. And there's a frustration, a sense of maybe I could do it better. Uh, but there's a humility. But maybe, yeah, maybe my next move is myself to run for, for elected office. Would you... People say I'd make a great senator. It's hard to answer that question. I mean, it's like Bill Clinton said, is anybody ever really prepared for the White House? I mean, did Barack Obama five years ago, when Barack Obama was writing his book on 94th and 2nd, you know, smoking his cigarettes and doing his cocaine, did you think he knew he was going to... It's something you're never prepared for. It's something that just, when it's your destiny, it shines on you. But we all have to step up to the plate. And we all have different missions. And I think the key to happiness is discovering your mission, how you can be beneficial to others. So if the country decides that they need Marty Eisen, that I'm there. No, but to serve in an administration, I'm not necessarily, listen, I, I wouldn't say no to an ambassadorship. Um, I wouldn't say no to Under Secretary of State or Under Secretary of Defense. You know, I date women of all races. You know, I'm not racist. You know, I'm open to other cultures. So you're not actively pursuing it? Right now I serve at the pleasure of the candidate. And I think it would be inappropriate for me to, to sort of to, to, to put the focus too much on myself. I'd actually feel more comfortable if we were talking about grander issues like my, my work on, the, on behalf of drilling in the Arctic or my work on behalf of encouraging war with Iran. The sun is setting. Danny had to go home. My tie is off. You can call me Marty. My okay. friends call me Marty. No, it's, there's something in here. What is it I really want? Yeah. What about you? Is, it, is, that, is that your big ambition, to be, a, to be a journalist? Yeah, big journalist. More important than anything? If you could be anything, it would be journalist? You're too pretty. You're too pretty to be a journalist. I mean, I've met some journalists. Because it's not easy. You saw the day we have. We put in long hours. We put in hard hours. You think it's easy for me to be everybody's friend? You think it's easy to slap the backs and make the small talk? You see, you saw, and I'm glad that other people are going to see now, that we put in hard, difficult days. And I'm excited. And right now, I don't want to talk about politics. Oh, I don't want to talk about Marty Eisen's that. I don't want to talk about John McCain. All I know is the sun is setting, and you and I should be having a drink. It's almost night. It's time to change hats. Tomorrow morning, back on the clock. Well, let's go for a drink. Lance, I'm there. It's great to have you around, brother. There's a lot more to Marty Eisen's stuff. But I can't, you know, I can't expect you just to know that from, from, from reading up on him. Well, I'm, I'm finding out. I mean, there's a real me inside of the public persona. Yeah, but, I, but I'm telling you, there's day and there's night. At night, we don't shoot. I prefer if you don't use the camera now. Tomorrow morning, we, you know, you, the camera can come right back up. Oh. We're there soon. Thank you, Lance. I'm telling you, these politicians are all the same. In the sense that they're all a bunch of skirt chasers. Listen, politics, you see what I do. We're like, we're like, you know, we're like salesmen. And you know the truth is, it doesn't matter if I'm selling a sneaker, or if I'm selling a computer, or I'm selling you a car, or I'm selling you an illusion. I'm just selling. And I sold Rudy, and now I'm selling McCain, and if tomorrow they paid me enough, I'd sell Obama. I thought it was a passion. No, of course it's a passion. I'm, I'm just, you know, it's the vodka talking. I, listen, I love John McCain. I worship him. I worship him like a son worships a father. We're two adults. We've both put in a hard day's work. You're European. <laughs> so I've been to Europe. I know what it's like. I know how you British can be a little kinky sometimes, right? Well. I like to pretend to drop the soap as if I'm an English public school boy. People think that the Democratic Convention is the big part. Trust me, the Republican Convention is just as big a part. I remember the time John and I. Yeah. Obviously, just between you and me. Of course. You know what? 
Maybe I shouldn't say anything. Oh, please. But I sometimes, you know, put a couple times. Everybody knows that the senator has a thing for, uh, no, for Vietnamese looking, Asian looking. That's not a secret. So I went to Vietnam with the senator. The senator and I would, would sometimes ride around in a rickshaw and he would just point. And I would jump out and I would bring them to our rickshaw. Because you, you were like the bait, because you were the younger I one. was younger. Because sometimes the young girls find the old man creepy. And uh, I remember I was with the senator at a party, you know, earlier in the campaign season. And it wasn't exactly a party, it was supposed to be a meeting, and he was having an interview with Michelle Malkin. You know Michelle Malkin? Yeah, yeah. Michelle yeah, Malkin. Oh, yeah. So the senator is interviewing Michelle Malkin. He says, uh, Marty, I'll be out in 10 minutes. I wait 10 minutes, I wait 15 minutes, I wait 20 minutes, I wait 30 minutes. Finally, I think maybe something happened to the senator. So I knock on the door, there's no answer. But needless to say, I accidentally opened the door, and I saw something. What? Uh, Listen, uh, uh, I, I don't yes. want to say anything. Hey, 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 wait, which senator? What do you mean which senator? Which senator are you talking about? Which senator? My boss. I find myself saying that. John McCain? If I were in my place. You, have you never covered politics before? Is this going to happen tonight or not? That's all I want to know. I mean, not tonight. What do you mean not tonight? I'm here for one day. Because I, I, if not, I'm going to cruise around with Lance and find it some other way. It's been a pleasure. Bon voyage. Marty, Marty. Please, not what it looks like. Marty, Marty. Marty, Marty. Marty. It's not what it looks like. This is a fascist, democratic, liberal, communist state. Yes, yes, he did. Ask Larry Clay. It was entrapment. Marty, Marty, Marty. 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 Marty, Marty.